She invites me to tell uh, this House what, I, what I've learnt in my very uh, pleasant trips uh, to uh, Scotland over the summer. I did learn that uh, Scotland has slower economic growth uh, than England. I was shocked to learn that Victorian diseases have actually returned to certain cities in Scotland, such as Ricketts. Uh, that Glasgow's rat problem is now so bad it is precluding bin men actually accessing certain streets because it's too dangerous for them. I discovered that the bill to Scottish taxpayers of the smelting business debacle stands at £32 million. I discovered that £33 million pounds that was ring fence for Scottish farmers has gone AWOL. I also learnt that the Scottish auditors have only been able to give a qualified sign-off to the SNP's oh. accounts. Uh, I toured other parts of the, the UK as well. I, um, and in Manchester, I discovered, uh, the Honourable Lady will be interested in this, that Manchester police have been forced to issue a crime reference number following a complaint about the SNP giving uh, um, constituency seats for cash, and I also learnt that the Scottish programme for government uh, announced this week has a billion pound black hole. I um, thank the Honourable Lady for inviting me to get that on record. Um, the Honourable Lady seeks to blame everyone else for this situation me, the UK government, anyone else uh, that is around, uh, except. Uh, the Scottish Government. A former colleague of hers, even this summer, uh, tried to put the blame on uh, foreign uh, agents of a foreign power infiltrating the SNP and taking all these terrible decisions. The SNP is never short of uh, a grievance, but it is now running out of excuses. I look forward to next week, what those excuses might be, the execution of Mary Queen of Scots, uh, the Highland clearances, the Hundred Years' War. The grotesque chaos and appalling public services her constituents are suffering from and the rest of the Scottish people are entirely down to the SNP alone. They are now a sad, spent force and no longer the UK's separatist party. That dubious honour now goes to the Labour Party in Wales.